6 Apartment Cat Tips or more precisely how I organized our cat's space. This is a cat, our cat. I knew she belongs to us once I saw an ad that one year straight ginger fluffy is free for adoption. We needed all odds and ends before picking her from the shelter. The cave and the food, scratching posts and toys. Trust me, we were so excited, just like expecting a baby delivery. Six years took the edge off of Kitty's character, so it also sifted her belongings, which I am blended into an interior and made less possible destructive and clutter-free, leaving our guests wondering when they don't see usual cat owner's home. However, our cat has everything, like the other cats, just maybe not so obvious, and today I'm sharing how and where exactly. Place for sleep just like any other cat, our kitty loves facing the window and the birds. She is very independent and enjoying her privacy. So this absolutely snug cat cave we placed in her favorite place behind the couch. I like the dim grey color of it and the ears can melt every cat owner's heart. However, in winter time, cats like more to hang out on the warm radiator or woolly blanket on our bed. Yes, sweetie, you can sleep also here. Feeding station. Ultra the cat has just to be replete and doesn't care about the aesthetics of her, let's say so, dining room. I do care. The place beside the refrigerator is where cats are receiving her food from her first days in our home. It was for me the only logical and convenient spot, where no one would be stepping into the bowls and easy to cater, also not the first thing you see when entering our living room. But I didn't like the gap, and as we already have four IKEA Billy shelves on that wall, I came up with an idea to get one more Billy and to create some sort of cat station. That way I could keep the same uniformed look for this wall. So here it is. Clean bowls, both dry and wet food in containers, I arranged on the top shelf. In the middle one, I placed soft mat secured in three places with adhesive velcro tape. The positive point is that cats are actually sometimes even sitting there. Eating place remained close to the floor like before, just few centimeters higher. So it turned into quite functional thing. I would like to share one more positive point of it. If you are also a cat owner, you know very well the view of the food shattered boat on the floor and the walls. So with the billy or something like that, the most of food remains inside. That way it's much easier to keep your surroundings clean. Our cat loo contains three elements. The litter box, mat for the paws, and the litter locker. The litter box, it's not the thing we want to keep on the display. And also because of better ventilation, we have to have the bathroom door open all the time anyway. Therefore, I found it's a good place for it. Triangle shape box with the cover and the swing door works for us the best. Because of its shape, it fits very well in the corner. The cover is preventing from the litter sprinkled outside the box and the mat in front of it, because of tangled surface, absorbs the most of litter particles, what remain on the puffs, keeping them away from landing on the floor. My the most favorite thing in this combo is the litter locker, which hiding the excavation findings and it's a real savior. Scratching post. Even though every cat is different, all have clefts. 
The scratching posts are recommended to be easy accessible and placed where the cat would be scratching anyway. We have three such places. I dropped one flat but solid mat on the rug because our kitty likes scratching the rug. The another is easy attachable and removable soft mat from IKEA. I have to fix its grip now and then, but this one we have for probably about two years and it's still in a good shape. By the way, you wouldn't see some giant construction cat tree in our home. We had one, but our kitty didn't show any big interest to it. I would be lying if I said that it makes me sad. But well, even though we haven't cat tree, we got a real tree with the most favorite thing for the manicure the planter with fiber rope around it. The Katze loves to make a moving flower show here, so after she was done with the previous spot, we got another one for the same reason and trust me, it's cheaper to get a new pot than to get another couch. How about you? Do you also have invisible things for the cat? Every animal has to have easy access to the fresh air. It's simply in the summer when we are keeping door to the balcony open almost all the time and our fluffy orange teddy bear can go in and out whenever she wants to. In the cold period, my husband and I are working like the door remotes or motion detectors. And every cat owner can relate that when you open the door, the cat not necessarily will go out or stay there longer than for 30 seconds. <laughs> the toys. Come Katze, let's play. Although the indoor cat has secure life in general, however, she also has limited access to the activities, unlike her free running siblings. And also, our cat, like the most of the cats, is spending the biggest part of her life sleeping. Therefore, for keeping her physically active, entertained and satisfying her haunting instincts, mice and birds have to be replaced with the toys. As I earlier said, our ginger fluffy has no interest in the cat trees, but the greatest fun chasing the ball. Oh well, sometimes I realize that I'm chasing the ball alone. But I'm suiting myself that looking for the toys underneath the furniture keeps me fit. So here is pretty much it how I organized our cat's space. Of course, we also have a brush for the fur and the carrier and the pot with the grass, which I didn't show, but I hope now you have a little idea about how it runs by us and found here some inspirations also for your home. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like this content, please give me the thumbs up and share with those to who it might be useful. Also consider subscribing so you won't miss my next video. Greetings from Luxembourg and thanks for watching. Eddie.